Let's get it started, huh? Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started, uh-huh. Let's get it started in here. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I know. <laughs> we are blessed to grace the stage with Ashley Dillon. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for letting me be here, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, obviously we're dorks. Uh, we've been... <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Um, Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ashley and I have been friends for a couple years now. I would say 2014 is when we met, right? At Paradise Perks? Mm-hmm. Uh, late 2013, 2014, yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's a minute. Long time. <laughs> and now look at where we are today. It's in the backyard. Yeah, in the backyard recording you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, <laughs> mom and dad. <laughs> Hope well, you're proud. Cool. <laughs> it's a cool little foundation of uh, a network of artists that's going on just in someone's backyard. That's how it starts. It's really cool. Yeah, and that nice. open mics. And... Bless open mics, man. Yeah, seriously, that's how we met our circle of friends. Mm-hmm. And we hang out with them pretty regularly. Maybe a little too much. I know. I keep forgetting. The girl at, like, going a little nuts. Yeah. I think we're going to Ronald's like this weekend, and then Caitlin has like mm -hmm. a shindig two weeks from now, and we go to each other's shows, and it's just really, it's a really good support network that oh, we got sure. going on, you know. And I think that having us all start our own music has just been really inspirational, and like I want to get into. Your music in particular. You showcased some really cool songs here. Hey, you think? So, you told me that these songs have been years in the making. So, can we go over that? Like, the first one was You Got Me. Yeah, um, so the first one, um, it's called You Got Me. Um, and I've been writing that one, gosh, for like, probably five years or so. Mm -hmm. Like, I had the... Like, initial main, like, first verse and the chorus down. And then I knew that I wanted to rap in it because, um... So at Paradise Perks, we had our, our friend Noah. Yeah! And I always thought, like, I really Noah wanted him... Uh-huh. I really wanted him on, um, on that, that rap part, and I could, like, really hear him on it. And so I, like, spent, like, five years in and out of that, that bridge park trying to figure out, like, how I was going to do it, because I'd never done something like that before. Yeah. Um... And then you and did it yourself. It like came it came in a blur. Um, but at first like I had to figure out the last the second part of the second verse I also didn't have. Like for some reason those two parts were stumping me. Mm -hmm. And I literally had no idea. The first idea was really cheesy, and so I was like, can't do it. And then in the rapping part, I just knew that what I wanted was the the what we got is and then going into the last part of it. Like those are the only foundations of it. And then in the last year they just clicked. And I don't know how. I don't know why, but they mm -hmm. just kind of found their groove, and it was awesome. like a little euphoria moment. So five years in the making, wow. intermittently, and it's been it's tough. It's hard when you have an idea, but wow. <laughs> that you want to get out there, but you just can't, you know? Yeah, and I know that's something that you're taking your time on, um, and you're just starting to work with Don Solo. Like, you've worked with him before, mm -hmm. right? And Done some heard... little stuff. Yeah, and then you're working with Chase as well from People Folk, right? Yeah, yeah, we've been yeah. Um, in the process of recording some little stuff um, here and there, so hopefully I'll have something out here. Goal is by the end of the year just to have something, whether it's a single or, or an EP of like three songs or something like that. Just do something really basic, just to at least start to get my foothold in the music scene for realsies. I feel like I've been tiptoeing it for a while, and now it's time to just kind of actually take the... the Why is that in. the case, if you don't mind me asking? No, not at all. Um, a chicken. <laughs> It's very scary. Um, it is. I'm trying to, to put stuff out by the end of the year, too. Yeah. And it's a lofty goal. It's it is. financial. It's having the support. It's knowing the right musicians. And it's, for me, it's a big mental game because I get mm -hmm. really, like, insecure about my voice where I feel like there's some days where I'm like, yeah, like, I love this. I'll sing everywhere I go. Like, it's great. And then I start to lay something down and I just... I get too in my head and I start to think, well, maybe I don't have the voice for this. Maybe I should just stick to like live performing or do something else. Or like, mm, okay. maybe like recording isn't my thing. Maybe it's songwriting. And I just go into the spiral and then I have to like kick myself back out of it. So it takes, it takes forever. 
Well, I know. And I remember I was, like, listening to an old interview that you did. <laughs> uh, and you were talking shout out to bench warmers podcast my <laughs> friends i have a really cool podcast you can find on apple and spotify and it's really fun bench warmers podcast i'm on an episode but it's me rambling for two hours it's so, amazing no it's i listened to the whole thing it's like <laughs> no. a cinematic movie no it's your, so bad your ear holes no like i i just i talk a lot about a bunch of random stuff uh, but they're amazing so go listen to them yes thanks guys yes thank you so much um, since you gave me so much material to work with, <laughs> um, but I want to go like into your songwriting influences and like, sure. you know, how their influences shape what you want to accomplish. So yeah, for sure. I heard that you have like John Mayer, Sarah Bareilles, Ali mm-hmm. and AJ, mm-hmm. Taylor Swift, like a bunch of like these artists, you know, I just want to understand like what you like about like all these different artists and, um, how you integrate it in your music, because I, I know, like, with Noah the Wordsmith, you were trying to to accomplish something new there, because you, you sound very, like, singer songwriting, but it also just, like, screams, like, heart and emoji, emoji, emojis. emojis. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I love... I lead emojis when I sing. <laughs> Pretty gross. I really love it, Pretty because weird. I had so much fun... We had so much fun filming you because you were like looking at the camera correctly and like just giving all these great expressions and like just giving us a really good canvas to work with. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank Sorry, you. I'm like That's I'm trying to ask you a question, but I'm also complimenting you like left and right. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. You know, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, no, okay. So touching on influences, um, Ali Nage is like the biggest one. Um, yeah, okay. I've been enamored with them since I was ten. Um, yeah. I used to love them. And they're coming out with new music, and they're my favorite. Um, yeah, but even their old songs are good. My, even my mom's like, yeah, this was like the good Disney stuff. Like, yeah, she took me to, my, they were my first concert, like when I was ten or eleven, um, San Francisco. Like, I used to take a tennis racket, and tie a scarf around it, pretend that was a guitar, and I used to sit and wait for them to come on Radio Disney. Like, I would wait <laughs> in my room for hours, you guys. <laughs> Literally, like I wouldn't do anything else that day. I would just be sitting and waiting, and then they came on, and I would sit and play, mm-hmm. and then that was it. And I was like, yeah. okay, time to go outside. Like, I was a normal kid who didn't just wait for three hours listening to my radio so I could play my tennis racket. Um, but, like, they kind of kick-started it. Um, and, I mean, especially at that, that age, like, I always wanted something that was going to be personal and that meant something and that dug a little deeper. Um, even at 11, I kind of knew that, like, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and I just, I liked the, the kind of music that they wrote back then, like, that just very, like, it was pop, but it had mm-hmm. a little bit of some, some edge to it, especially right. for two Disney girls. Um, yeah. So I really wanted to write like that, and then as I got older, Sarah Bareilles kind of became that person where she has a lot of really cool jazz influences, she's got a lot of, yeah. like, she's got the pop, the rock, the singer-songwriter, especially after writing Waitress, like, you can tell that she's got more of the musical style kind of going through her right now. Um, right. And, and you she, said you were a theater kid as well. I mean, a bad theater kid, but I was a theater kid nonetheless. <laughs> that's um, what you went to school for, though. That, uh, yes. I, but I ended up, I mean, I found Paradise Parks, and that's what I spent most of my time doing, was mm. music at that point. Um, gotcha. But, like, Sarah Bareilles is, like, a genius when it comes to conveying her, her thoughts and emotions and putting them down into, like, a beautiful melody, and she's also incredible playing piano, incredible at playing guitar, plays the uke, she's funny, she curses when she's on stage, <laughs> like, she's just a Sounds super like chill. <laughs> I, I wish. And so, having... Those, the three of them, so the two separate, like, groups, um, but the three of those, like, strong female writers, Mm -hmm. um, especially now, like, that's really important to me, um, and especially since Allie Nature coming back with new stuff, um, it's just, it's cool to see that these artists continue to hold down their integrity, even if they're kind of playing with what's popular or what they, like, however they're, they're doing it, like, they're, they're following a lot of the trends, but also breaking through a lot of barriers as well by still integrating themselves into it, mm. which I think is really cool. Um, and like I said, their, their lyrical prowess is like un, unheard of to me. So I love them. Still want to go into with Alley and really badly. That's been my dream since I was a kid. I used yeah, to, be their opening act. I used to sit and I had a poster <laughs> of them in my room and every night I'll go, please let me go on tour with them. So putting out <laughs> to the universe. You never know. Um, them and Sarah Burroughs, I would love to go on tour with, but then yeah. Young the Giant also has a big influence. Young the Giant. Yeah, they started here too. So cool. They started Don like Don knows them. Like Well yeah, well my my ex went to Irvine High with them at the time and they used to be called The Jakes. The Jakes. Yeah. Exactly. So wild. Yeah, and he was tell like I remember my friend our friend Don. Yeah. Um he was telling us that 
he knew one of the members who backed out before they got famous and like how he ended up like regretting it mm-hmm. decision because that's such a big decision that you can make you know yeah you never realize that it's gonna impact your life or not in a certain way it's so crazy to me yeah <laughs> I mean how far along do you see yourself going with this well I mean ideally mm-hmm. the goal would be other than tour with Ali and AJ and Sarah <laughs> Um, I think ideally I want to find an avenue that lets me write and be creative for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to eventually headline my own tour. I have a bunch of ideas in my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I really want to take, like, hopefully that gets to be a thing. No, no matter the, the scale of production, obviously. I want it to be right. Taylor Swift production, like, level. <laughs> right. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Um, small steps. Um, but touring, um, getting to play music, just writing, being creative, being around people like you and our group and everything like that, getting to spend my life doing that would be the dream, I think, yeah. at this point. And, so. you know, we're still connected to each other after all these years, so I don't, I don't <laughs> see, like, why that wouldn't be a possibility. Actually, I think we can all make it, but it's just a matter of, like, who gets there first and, like, how long it'll take us to get there. Well, yeah, and I think there's different avenues that you can take with music, you know? Like, everybody yeah. thinks it has to be, like, pop commercial success, right. which is nice, uh, but I also like think there are... 40 type of success? Yeah, like Ariana Grande, everybody knows you can't go anywhere. Billie Eilish, you can't go anywhere. Right. Um, and, I mean, even, like, Ali and AJ, Sarah Burles, they obviously, like, get recognized and stuff, but I think that they're also... They have crept underground a little bit, too, right. so they, I feel, can go out in a little bit. Right. Um, so you're not, like... That that mystery, you know? So you're not, like bombarded stocked on everybody's like oh, yeah. watch list but yeah. you're still popular like like a cult following almost right. you know like that's kind of what I want to be able to garner at some point so and I think we'll all sorry that was a big tangent just to say there's there's no, something for everybody <laughs> you know yeah. like it could be cult followings it could be playing regularly at a certain couple of venues but at least you're playing music every day like Brad plays every single day almost of the week like, but he's, he's out there and he's doing it though. I like, know. Like, how cool would that be if that, like, that was one I of our I wonder how many times we're going to mention Brad in these interviews. Probably more than we should. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know, um, so I, I 100% believe in this group. I do too. And I have since this group got started and yeah. it's freaking cool to it is be so part of this group cool. you yes. know and to want to continue striving to be like everyone else and just hang out like even outside of doing our music like we just get together well it makes it less competitive it reminds you that yeah. you have friends in this industry so it's cool yeah and you know i think that there's this perception that in order for you to become famous you have to compete with other people in order to make it, or you have to reach a certain milestone before everybody else, and yeah. that's not necessarily the case, or at least in this so. group, and, you know, luckily, everyone's been, like, pretty positive and encouraging of each other, Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, like, really stoked about that, and also, like, we're color coordinating, uh, we did not plan this, but, like, my dress uh, matches her hair and her jeans, <laughs> and her skin tone is me. <laughs> no, I'm white, but don't call me out like that. I'm already reflecting. I'm sorry. I'm dark. Okay. Wow. You know. Rude. rude. Yeah. Moving on. Ah. Moving on. <laughs> uh, moving on to the second song. That was beautiful. How come I haven't <laughs> heard that more? I don't know. I don't play it all. Because it's slower. It's hard to bring that one out when there are so many other like, crowd favorites. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Then thank you. I appreciate it. I like that song a lot. That yeah. song's been really fun. Tell too, me about it. it. sounds super heartfelt, and it sounds very dynamic, and <laughs> I can't get over it. It's, like, still in my mind. Well, it's in my mind, too. It's about flowers and, you know, going through darkness before you see sunshine. And... Yeah, so, You're just, uh, like, that type of person. You're, like, a uh, ray of I sunshine. I hope so. Thank you. you. I worked really hard to get there. <laughs> uh, I feel like we go through some shit, and you have to work your way back up, and you do all this work, and then you get back together. But anyways, that's for another She's time. She's like a rated R um, Disney princess, I swear. What they say about Ariana Grande too, so I'm on the same level as Ariana Grande. Heck yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that song's called From the Ground Up. Um, the funny thing is, I actually started writing that song because I saw somebody post something on Instagram that literally just said, um, you like start from the ground up. Oh. Like, but she was like, she like, this person, oh, she made like a, a comment sense. just about like growth and life and all of that stuff, and it was just in there, and I was like, oh. That'd be the cool name of, like, a song title. Yeah. 
and I was like, I think I want to write a song called From the Ground Up Now. Oh. And it just all kind of came out, and two days later I had it. Mm-hmm. And that was the, that was it. That was, that was wow. how it went. It it's two days. It's just funny how, like, I hear, how I hear people, like, start their music, like, they go through this experience, mm-hmm. or, you know, um, they, they watch a commercial, mm-hmm. or someone random, like, comes up in their lives and, like, yeah. just leaves, like, a, a plant, a, a plant? They leave a seed. Plant a seed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plant, they plant a seed, ah! I got you, I got you, I, okay. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I mean, yeah, I don't know, I'm lucky that my, my brain's a little strange, so it just kind of <laughs> hears things like I that. I love that your brain is strange. I think I, I think I mentioned this to you a couple of days ago, but, like, there are times when, like, I can hear melodies and, like, keys jangling or something like mm-hmm. that, or, like... So it's like footsteps or whatever. It'll make me think about like certain songs or mm-hmm. something like that. So it's just my, my brain misfiring in weird ways. And I'm like, okay, I can capitalize on that. Yes. But that's that's the deal with that song. And I feel like a bunch of us have gone through a bunch of stuff. And it's nice to have this yeah. idea that um, that's that's where the real you blooms from, you know? Mm-hmm. And you can kind of choose where you go. So you're, all, you're built from the ground up, man. Sounds good. I'm so excited to listen to your music, and I can't believe you don't have anything out right now. And this is this is the reason why we do this, you know. Yeah. Um, a lot of my friends are incredibly talented and are local. You know, they live close to here, and people need to hear their stuff. But it's not so out yet. It's a work in progress. We're getting there. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, I've got artwork in mind. I've got Ooh, business cards with? in mind. Mm-hmm. Nobody yet, but I have people in mind. Okay. Um, like Yuichi, Yuichi helped us with some graphics for. Yuichi's series. dope. Yuichi, yeah, you're so dope. <laughs> Love you him. make the coolest art. I know. <laughs> he's he's um used. Uh, I can't talk. King's Prophet. He did some artwork for yeah. them. Yeah. Oh my god, and it looks so good. Yes. Know, King's Prophet. And then for Apollo, I know he's worked with like uh, Grover on some animation stuff. And he's yeah. Really incredible, and I love using this network of people. I like to use people. <laughs> um, you somebody. <laughs> um, but use them in the right way, like, their talents. And, like, I want th- to bring them in. Well, um, you collaborate, and you, yeah. you grow, and you work together, and you, you create. Collaborate and... is so much better, like, to <laughs> I, I got you. People. <laughs> got you, I got you, I got you. Um, no, um, so, yeah, hopefully I want to get stuff out there, because I just want to start performing more. I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of vocal work that I have to do and I've been doing a lot of it in the car. Thank you. It's a work in progress. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a lot of work to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, lot, a lot of work that I do in my car on the way to work, on the way to places like this. Um, so we're gonna keep doing that work. We're gonna we're gonna start releasing stuff because at the very least, I wanna be 125 years old with all my family and friends still <laughs> alive because that's what mountain science is gonna do for us one yeah. of these days, and we're gonna be great, and the world's not gonna go into nuclear hellfire. Um, and I want to be able to, like, look back and say that at least I tried, even if for some reason, yeah. absolutely nothing, co- like, it literally just goes to a standstill, and it's like, mm, no. I feel the same way, you know? Like, I want something to show for it, and to say yeah. that, like, I put my effort into it, I put my heart into it, I, like, this is a huge fear of mine, somehow, but it's also the thing that I love the most. Yeah. Um, but I conquered it. galvanizes it. you, but, like, you conquer it. Yeah. And, like, it uplifts you, you know, and it uplifts other other people around you too. So hopefully we get some more with it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll keep doing it. Same to you, ma'am. Thank you. Excited for your stuff to come out. Me too. Me too. I'm very <laughs> excited. I'm already planning the EP release party. <sighs> and gonna. Party. Yeah, I already um, asked Anna to have thrift over. Speaking of which, thrift, yay! <laughs> I love. Yes. What about thrift? Well, our friends are in it. We yes. we interviewed and did an episode with Calvin. Yeah, and Calvin. we're gonna we're gonna do one with with Thrift and like Anna in September. Um, and this I think this will be out by the time that we oh, start filming there. So cool. I'm pretty stoked about that. And um, I know. Well, actually, I don't know. Have you always wanted to be like a part of a band, or would you want like a band backing you? Like, what does the setup look like with you and your music? Yeah. Um. So. Or like, what kind do you of, envision? Well, so, to answer your question, both. Um, I've always okay. wanted to be in a band, and this is a really... Thrift is a really cool way that I get to channel a different side of me that I don't put out for my own music, because Thrift is a little bit more seductive, mysterious, a little... A li- it goes a little harder than my own music does. Um, it's a little... It's 
more dancey, all of that stuff, and it, it allows me to be a little bit more free and uninhibited because I just get to play like this character. <laughs> um, yeah, so just it lets me it lets me put on some of my theater face almost. Mm, mm -hmm. um, yeah, which I like, and it lets me practice my vocals because I'm doing the high harmonies, and I, my voice does not go that high, so I'm <laughs> working on it. Um, Okay. So it's fun to be in a band and get to express myself that way in a project that's not mine, that was created and, and propelled by Anna and, and taken in these incredible directions by her right. and getting to work under yeah. her and what she's able to accomplish. I mean, it's inspiring and it's cool for my own music and like yeah. my own artistic self. Um, for my own music, it's also making me realize that I do really want a band behind me. Mm -hmm. I can, when I write and how I end up pushing a song forward is through hearing it being played live like I can just like imagine myself playing it on like a big stage you know I imagine the Taylor Swift setup you know big and famous <laughs> um but I like imagine the the bass the guitar the the drums I imagine the the harmony is how it's going to echo throughout a stadium where like I, I think a little too far ahead maybe but I think of where like people might sing along I think of where people might stop to cheer I think of make, where people like might do x y or z yeah. so I literally see the song how far it's going to go and if That's I don't great. see it Hitting a lot of people don't a big stage. Think they're just like, yeah. oh, like how am I gonna write these verses? You know, which and is great. How like I'm you have to stitch everything together, like with the music and the melody and all these things. Well, you have but to. People don't. I think sometimes people lack seeing the scope of where they want to go with this, and they just kind of wander into it. You know. Yeah, which I mean, it works for some people. Um, it does. I I like having that vision because it also is what helps me dictate what I actually feel is good enough to put out. Right. Because I'm kind of self-conscious and, like, I get anxiety, so I don't want to put something out that I think is going to be mediocre. Um, of course. Even if it does end up being mediocre, Take if I time. think it's going to be good, exactly. Like, I want something that's going to be worth the effort, yeah. and I want something that pe I know people are going to like. So all the music that I've played and done so far, like, that's all music that I've tested and, like, mm -hmm. can see going the full, the full mile, right. you know? Go the full mile and then some. Mm -hmm. And so I don't play or really release anything unless I know it's got that or it's right, right. on the edge. Mm -hmm. um, so I really want the full band behind everything because, like, I hear... I hear everything. <laughs> that sounded really creepy, actually. <laughs> I've no. listened to a I lot mean, of I ghost podcasts, you guys. <laughs> who have been listening to a lot of creepy, scary shit lately. Oh. So, <laughs> it's nighttime, you know? It's really great, especially when your house has a bunch of mirrors in it. <laughs> I know. Hello. <laughs> a little myself. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I hear the full band. Um, okay. But in, in the meantime, it's nice being in thrift, doing like what mm -hmm. I can, um, and getting cool. to kind of play around. When, with do, that. when do you want to get a full band together? I don't know. Again, <laughs> when people are free, I don't know. I'll figure it out because I think I want some like I want like it like my band. Yeah. You know, so I've got to figure it out. But like I, I'm the same way. Like I'm in multiple projects and like. I have a solo project where I see myself being the front woman and yeah. playing bass and, and singing, but then, just like Anna, but, like, I also want to support other people's projects, and I want to see how far that goes along, and yeah. sometimes it's, like, I was just talking about this with Miguel earlier, um, it's hard to teeter between uh, what you want to do with your community and what you want to do solely for yourself, and I'm mm -hmm. definitely the type of person that um, I get my energy from other people. Yeah. Total extrovert. I love connections and I love building relationships with people and sometimes it's hard because that kind of blocks your own creative process and you, oh, right. you have to like learn how to isolate yourself and just figure out oh like what do you want to do like just as Megan Francisco or what do you want to yeah. do as Ashley Dillon yeah you know what makes you tick what makes you want to get out of bed every morning and put this show on for the world I guess just to sum it up it's all about Believing in what's good and what's good for you and chasing after those things and wholeheartedly going for them. The the good relationships, the good spaces, the good music, the good the good food, the good walking path. Like mm -hmm. the little things in your life, there's so much energy you can cultivate around you. Like right. you just you gotta believe in the things that you feel are best for yourself and what actually genuinely feel good and you just gotta gotta go for it. And that's what I've I've learned that's where so much of my music inspiration comes from now, which is so nice. But and I, I love seeing that with you, and especially like as a as a woman, like I, I feel like I am always surrounded in industries that are very male dominated. Yeah, for sure. Um, when I was playing sports growing up, 
I used to do MMA. Uh, even in the music scene, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of males, and uh, I studied computer engineering. Male dominated. Male dominated, you know. And it's just nice to see really strong examples of women that I can aspire to and emulate. And, you know, I definitely see that with you. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. And I won't, I hope you, you get it out there soon. Sooner, sooner rather than later. Absolutely. End of the year is the deadline, so. Ha! <laughs> Same. Same to you. <laughs> so we'll just we'll freak out together when we yeah. were about to release our stuff and it'll be great. <laughs>